you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney prior to or during any question. If you can't afford one, the court will appoint one for you. Do you understand your rights? And the wolf is at your door. You're running so that's for sure. This episode of Real Life, Real Crime, the podcast may contain descriptions of acts of violence or that of a sexual nature and should be for people that are 18 years or older. Heed my warning, people. I do not get the facts of these cases off of the Internet or for some television show. The facts I'm retelling you were presented to me by the victims of the crimes or the perpetrators who committed the crimes against the victims. My descriptions of the crime scenes, what I saw with my own two eyes. If you're going to get offended, please turn this podcast off now. Thank you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Real Life, Real Crime, the podcast. As always, I'm your host, Woody Overton. And y'all, I know it's been a minute, right? I'm going to explain that and everything what's about to go on for Real Life Real Crime in a few minutes. But first, I want to talk about the podcast awards real quick. Oh, boy. Y'all, you made me cry. I won Best Drama and Storyteller for the People's Choice Podcast Awards for this year. That's the second time I won that because y'all voted lifers, and I love y'all. Thank you so much for it. And then I won, for the first time, I won Best True Crime podcast in the world people's choice this year award again thank you so much for it i appreciate it it's just mind-blowing that i even made the finals much less won it but then went on again and i won for the second time two years in a row best male host of a podcast in the world people's choice podcast awards and just totally blown away by it and it, it wouldn't have happened without all, all you lifers and I love y'all and I'll never get to say that enough uh, but it wasn't over I won most influential podcaster in the world and, and again it was because of y'all and so it was a hell of a night very moving for me a very proud moment for me I'm very proud that y'all listened to me and took the time to vote and it just meant the world to me it totally validates what we're doing and it just blew me away if you go back and you watch the podcast awards on YouTube you'll see I gave an, a, a speech after each win uh, the one person I forgot to acknowledge and I want to give a shout out to is Chase Tyler and the Chase Tyler band for our new opening music. It's not new anymore. It's like a year old now, but those guys rocked it. And so thank you, Chase Tyler and Chase Tyler band. I'm sorry. I forgot when I was recording the acceptance speeches to mention y'all, but I love y'all and thank you so, so much. But lifers, I'll never be able to thank you enough. Very, very powerful moment for me. Very proud moment for me and my family, my wife, uh, my kids, everybody that puts up with me, right? Thank you so much. And you know what? I was the first person to ever win more than two awards in one night for the People's Choice Podcast. And I won four all because of y'all. And I just can't thank you enough. You're the best fans in the world. We beat the biggest shows in the world. It was just pure love, okay? So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I want to talk about a couple things. Again, stay tuned because I'm going to talk about everything real life for crime. What's coming up after I get done talking about Courtney Coco's trial. Now, when you hear this, this episode will be released. It should be 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the the fourth day of Courtney Coco's murder trial. And, and as you know from past episodes, David Anthony Burns has been charged by a jury of his peers, the grand jury. He was arrested for Courtney's murder, and it's been a long time coming, this court battle. It's a, you know, a couple of years, right? And there's been all the motions and the hearings. I've made every one of them, except for two, I think, this, this past one and another one when I was out of state. But I've been getting a lot of questions about what's going to happen during the trial. So I'm going to lay it out for you now. So trial week uh, starts. Now, they don't just have Courtney Coco's trial scheduled to go for this week. What they'll do is they'll have however many trials, like 20, 25, slated to go. If somebody doesn't take a plea out, you know, they'll call them up and say, hey, you ready to go to trial? Yeah. I mean, they may offer them a plea. They may not. Whatever. If they don't take a plea, then they'll table them, right? You know, they'll go down a list. A lot of them will take pleas. So most of that first day, if when the people enter uh, the guilty plea, they take whatever the deal the DA is giving them. They have to, you know, the judge has to send some. It just takes a long time. Read all this stuff to them. And then the person has to say what they did and all that. So it takes a while. But Courtney Coco's is going this week, okay? Or, you know, you're hearing it. It's this week. I'm recording this a week early. At the end of that day, when they get done taking all these pleas and all that stuff, or or some people won't take a plea, and they'll they'll schedule them for a trial date. But Courtney Coco's is the trial that is the biggest one. First, number one with a bullet, slated to go this week. Now, Monday, because it takes so long to get through all these pleas or, or not pleas and the trial list that's scheduled, generally they won't pick a jury st- until Tuesday morning. They'll start picking them. Why? Because that's called voir dire. That's a fr- um, French term that's used in Louisiana for jury selection because we're under the Napoleonic Code of Law. But they don't want to, you, you have to subpoena all these potential jury members to come in and they'll fill up the courtroom, right? But voir dire takes a while because the prosecution will have their say or get to ask question each prospective juror and the, the defense does also. Each side will get X amount of strikes. They can cut a juror for whatever reason they want to. But once those strikes are used up, then the jury gets filled unless the judge excuses someone because they say, yeah, well, I know the arresting officer in the case, or I'm friends with the family, or I'm friends with the suspect, whatever. So generally they will, they have the jury pool come in, prospective jury pool come in on Tuesday morning, and they will start voir dire. And that's the prosecution will get up and say, hey, this is the murder case of Courtney Coco. Um, do any of you have a problem with, you know, being on a, on a jury member on a, on a murder trial where you're going to send somebody to life or, you know, do you know any of the people that are witnesses in this case? And they'll read the list and uh, jurors will get excused whether the judge does it or uh, immediately. Right. And then, then, then they will start questioning each juror. They'll put 12 of them in the box at a time. They'll start with the first one and they'll ask them questions. They can ask whatever questions they want to at the end when the prosecution gets done, then the defense gets to question them. Then they'll go back and they'll decide whether they want to use one of their strikes to kick them off the jury or not. If not, then that juror will be seated as a juror for the trial. It's, but it takes a while. And, and this one's going to take a while because it's, it's had a lot of media attention and, and Alexander is not that big. Um, people are going to know, you know, witnesses or, uh, Courtney or Courtney's family or uh, David Anthony Burns, you know, whatever. But it's going to take a while. But I would think they would probably have the jury seated by the end of Tuesday. If not, then however members they have seated will be seated. Uh, um, and then everybody else will have to come back on Wednesday. And they'll do the same process until they get 12 jurors and however many alternates, Okay. And after that, 
Hey ladies, are you feeling overwhelmed by hormonal changes? Well, you're definitely not alone. There are more than 1,000 hormone disruptors living in our environment right now. It's sending your food, your water, the air you breathe, the clothes you wear, your skincare products. They all mess with your hormones. Then there's the natural hormone changes your body goes through. Premenopause, menopause. And while it's a natural process, it doesn't mean you have to suffer through it. The good news is you don't have to suffer through it anymore because now you have hormone harmony, a formula made only with herbal ingredients that are shown to reduce hormonal symptoms in women of all ages. Hormone harmony is not just a hormone support and supplement. It's become a phenomenon. Women can't stop talking about it on social media. A bottle of hormone harmony is sold every 24 seconds. And the biggest benefit? Well, my wife says it makes her feel like her own self again. And that's what women mention over and over in the reviews. And there are over 30,000 reviews for Hormone Harmony. And for a limited time, you can get 15% off your entire first order at happymammoth.com. Just use code RLRC at the checkout. That's happymammoth.com and use code RLRC for 15% off today. That's H-A-P-P-Y-M-A-M-M-O-T-H dot com and use code R-L-R-C. Spark something uncommon this holiday with just the right gift from Uncommon Goods. The busy holiday season is here and Uncommon Goods makes it less stressful with incredible hand-picked gifts for everyone on your list. All in one spot. Gifts to spark joy, wonder, delight. And that's exactly what I want it feeling. Hey, y'all, I ordered... A super cool piece. It's a candle with a sculpture of an LSU Tiger Stadium on top of it. And each officially licensed laser cut wooden replica features up to four layers of detail, creating a bird's eye view of a specific football field, seating section, and more. And every label includes your stadium's name, the team's logo, and school location. And it has a coconut soy vegan wax infused with sandalwood smell that creates tailgates and touchdown scent profile, reminiscent of game day. It's invigorating like fresh cut grass and nostalgic like smoke from a pre-game grill. And calming like the crisp autumn air of a new semester on campus. Y'all, I love it. I have it at the base of my TV and I'm ready to watch the Tigers play on Saturday night, right? Uncommon Goods. Look, when you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. And many of their handcrafted products are made in small batches. So shop now before they sell out this holiday season. Uncommon Goods looks for products that are high quality, unique, and often handmade or made in the U.S., They have the most meaningful, out-of-the-ordinary gifts anywhere. They even have gifts you can personalize. From holiday hosts and hostess gifts to the coolest finds for kids, to hits for everyone from the book lovers to diehard sports fans, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone, not the same old selection you can just find anywhere. And with every purchase you make at Uncommon Goods, they give $1 to a nonprofit partner of your choice. They've donated more than $3 million to date. So to get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash R-L-R-C. That's uncommongoods.com slash R-L-R-C for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limit time offer. Uncommon Goods, we're all out of the ordinary. They'll probably take a recess and they'll come back in. Maybe it'll be lunchtime or something. They'll come back in and then they'll do opening arguments. And then opening arguments, the prosecution stands up first and says, hey, Cordy Coco was murdered. We believe David Anthony Burns did it. We're going to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, you know, whatever their opening statement is going to be. Then the defense gets to stand up, and they're going to say, oh, you know, my client didn't do this, and we're going to prove to you that they didn't do it, and for whatever reason, that it was a bad police investigation, whatever reason they're going to use. And that – the defense attorney, the lead defense attorney is a guy named Mr. LaCour. The lead prosecutor is a special prosecutor that's been brought in, and his name is Hugo Holland. So they'll give their opening statements. After that, the judge will say to the prosecutor, Hugo Holland, Mr. Hugo, are you ready to call your first witness? Yes. Then Hugo is going to call whoever he's going to call first, and he'll get to question them. Usually it's like, uh, 
whoever found the body, or or maybe it'll be Miss Stephanie, Courtney's mom. I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but I've seen it done all different kinds of ways. But the prosecution will call every witness they have, and after they'll call one at a time. They'll ask them all the questions, and then when they get done, they tend to the witness to the defense. It's the question from the defense standpoint, right, until that witness is excused. They'll call the next one, and then the prosecution will go through every witness they have to prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt. It's not, y'all, it's not beyond a shadow of all doubts, but it's beyond a reasonable doubt. And once they get done, prosecution is going to rest. I cannot tell you how long this is going to take. They, they have it slotted for up to 10 days. I'm going to be in a hotel room already paid for for 10 days. Then the defense gets to put on their side and they can call witnesses or not call witnesses it's up to them, but I'm sure they're going to call some. And even David Anthony Burns has a right to take the stand in his own defense. Doesn't have very often uh, in trials, but they'll the defense will go through their whole side. And when they get done, they'll say the defense rests. Then if there's any, Body else uh, that needs to be called, they'll do it or whatever. But then they'll take take a break and they'll come back and do closing arguments. Okay, prosecution will get up and and say why they've proved their case and that David Anthony Burns should be found guilty of the murder of Courtney Coco. And they'll go through their whole spiel, their closing argument, and they'll sit down. The defense then gets to get up, have their bite at the apple, and say why the prosecution did not prove it beyond a reasonable doubt and why David Anthony Burns should not be found guilty. And then they'll sit down, and then the prosecution has a chance to get back up and make the last statement. After that, the judge will then give the jury instructions, and he was going to read off all this stuff to prove second-degree murder. You know, you must find this, this, and this, and that whatever he's going to give them real clear and concise instructions. And then they will retire the jury to the jury room to start deliberating. Generally, the shorter amount of time the jury is out, the better it is for the prosecution and the worse it is for the defense. Vice versa, the longer the jury is out, generally it's better for the defense than it is the prosecution. But however long it takes, they're going to deliberate. If they have to break another night, in sequester them or whatever they're going to do, put them in a hotel, bring them back the next day, they'll do it. And and the jury's going to deliberate until they come back with either a hung jury, which means we can't decide. And now, y'all in Louisiana, all 12 members, see if you find guilty, all 12 members you got to find you guilty, right? Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. John White, WebMD's Chief Medical Officer and host of the Spotlight On series from WebMD's Health Discovered podcast. For this special two-part episode, you'll hear up-close and personal journeys about being diagnosed with a rare type of cancer, multiple myeloma. I started in myeloma nearly 25 years ago. And at that time, the average expectation of life in someone with myeloma was maybe one to two years. But even just in this last 10 to 12 years, we have doubled, if not tripled, the average survival of patients. I saw a new patient this week, and we had this conversation that based on what we've done over the last decade, my expectation is that patient's going to live more than 10 years. Listen to Health Discovered on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hung jury is is where they they say, hey, we're hopelessly deadlocked and we can't reach a decision and the judge will have to declare a mistrial. Or they'll come back and say, not guilty, right? And so whatever it may be, the outcome is going to be, it's going to happen next week. Or if it, if it drags out a long time, the, the verdict will come back the week after. 
Either way, I'm going to be there with, with the family. I promised them from the beginning I would be, and I'm a man of my word on that. Um, but it's going to reach a conclusion in sometime in the next week or a week and a half, period. Don't be a copycat entrepreneur. Unleash your killer business idea to the world with Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. <coughs> Shopify makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. Whether you're selling t-shirts or garden hose, start selling with Shopify and join the platform, simplifying commerce for millions of businesses worldwide. With Shopify, you'll customize your online store to your brand, discover new customers, and build the relationships that will keep them coming back. Shopify covers all the sales channels to successfully grow your business from an in-person POS system to an all-in-one commerce platform, even across social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And thanks to 24-7 support and free on-demand business courses, Shopify is here to help you succeed every step of the way. It's how every minute new sellers around the world make their first sale with Shopify, and you can too. I love how Shopify makes it simple for anyone to sell their products anywhere, whether they're ebooks or earrings. Shopify simplifies starting and running your own successful business. When you're ready to take your idea to the world, do it with Shopify, the commerce platform powering millions of businesses down the street and around the globe. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash R-L-R-C, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash R-L-R-C to start selling online today. Shopify.com slash R-L-R-C. Let's say they find him guilty. They won't. The judge won't issue a sentence just then. They'll they'll set a sentence and date. But they, they would take David Anthony Burns into custody. Well, he's in custody anyway. But they'll lock him up. As soon as they come back with guilty, there's no more niceties. That the during the trial, the accused doesn't wear handcuffs and stuff. They're wearing street clothes, and, and the jury can't see him in handcuffs or shackles. When that's because they want the jury to be biased uh, about already think, well, if he's in handcuffs, he must have done something wrong. But as soon as they come back guilty, they're going to swamp dunk him, which means they're going to jump on him and put the handcuffs and shackles on him. And the judge will set the sentencing date. They'll take him out. And on the sentencing date, they will come back and the judge will give whatever the sentence is going to be. Now, the charge, the charge right now is second degree murder. So that means automatically, you know, the judge is going to come back on the sentencing date and sentence David Anthony Burns to life in prison with no parole. If they come back with a lesser charge, then you know that there's certainly leeway in, in sentencing in on the on the guidelines, and it's up to the judge. But that's the process. Now it's a public trial, people. You are certainly welcome to go with whichever side you're on, and uh, and listen to the trial. Um, you can't wear any shirts that say like "Justice for Courtney" or or you know. You know, free Anthony Burns or anything like that that can sway the jury. Um, you better believe this. Hey, y'all, let me tell you about Gobble. All Gobble meal kits are pre prepped. That means less work for you and less waste in your kitchen. Their meal kits include everything you need so you can save time at the store or just skip that trip entirely. I got the box in and I had three different meals. I had Kung Pao chicken, crispy fish tacos, and a beef boom jignon. However you say it, but I'm going to tell you about the classic beef boom jignon. Look, it came with beef pot roast and a beef broth concentrate, red wine demi glaze, cremini mushrooms, siapelloni onions, mashed potatoes, baby carrots, and rosemary thyme butter. It was so easy to make. Literally like 15 minutes it took Cindy. And let me tell you something. And all the dishes were fire. But this thing was like a taste explosion in my mouth. It's just un. 
real. We've got to spend more time together and more time doing the things we love because everything came in this one single box right to my door. So see what a difference GABA will make for your household. Right now, they're offering my listeners a fantastic limited time deal. You get $120 off across four boxes plus free shipping and free cookies. And let me tell you, those cookies, I ate one that was sin baked and it was delicious. Go to gobble.com slash real life. That's G-O-B-B-L-E dot com forward slash real life for $120 off your first four boxes. This offer is not available on the home site, so don't miss out. This is genius. It's taste explosions in your mouth like you never had be a heavy security print presence at, from the sheriff's office in the courtroom for the entire trial, but it's coming and it's been a long time coming. And I submit to you that Courtney has been dead over 18 years. Um, and it's time one way or another that this case gets resolved. So that's it in a nutshell, paraphrasing it for you. I will be there. I will be doing at least one episode, maybe a daily episode. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to play out yet, but you're going to get it. You're going to get it from my photographic memory. You're going to get it from, I'm actually going to take notes and I'm going to break it down to you by witness, by what the arguments are from the defense that Anthony Burns is, is not guilty. I'm going to the prosecution why they say he is guilty. So it's going to be, the true nuts and bolts, and you're going to get it from real life, real crime uh, because you deserve it. All right. And I love y'all. And thank you for putting up with it. Every Friday, I do a hashtag justice for Courtney. I'm hoping this Friday, remember this, I'm recording this a week early, y'all. This Friday will be the last time I do a hashtag justice for Courtney. Hopefully after that, it'll be hashtag we got justice for Courtney. But we'll see. You never know how the justice is going to work. It's certainly going to be, I hate to say interesting because, I mean, but you know what? It's it's going to be a show. I can tell you that. But you're going to find out about it and you'll hear about it on Real Life Real Crime, even beyond what you're going to hear on the news. Now, let's talk about Real Life Real Crime. Okay. And Scorch Justice. All right. So, unfortunately, y'all, Real Life Real Crime is a business. And we had a partnership with Cloud 10 Media and iHeartRadio. And I absolutely love and adore Cloud 10 Media and Sim Sarna and Saiba, his sister, that run it. Um, but they were hosted, they, they were, we were contracted with them to get us our national commercials. Now, the national commercials pay our bills. Okay. Every episode, a drop. Uh, I have to pay to have it produced. There's other costs that go into it and things that have to be paid for. So when the economy turned and some of the commercials dried up for shows coming through that source, and if I didn't have a, a commercial scheduled, I couldn't do an episode. I mean, otherwise, I'm going in the hole, right? So there, for the first time in four years, the last couple months, y'all have seen me go sometimes two weeks at a time without dropping an episode. There's a reason for it. It's a business reason. Okay. Uh, Scorch Justice was supposed to be released in, I think, July 5th or something like that. It got pushed back because of the commercial rates, right? It's a, it's a business. Cloud 10 owned half of Scorch Justice and they didn't want to release it without proper amount of commercials on it. And I get that. But it was pushed back to September 6th. September 6th came, and guess what? Same situation, right? And then you could see as the time went on, my commercials got less and less. Therefore, you got less and less episodes. Breaks my heart. I hate it. Um, but that that's done with now. This is the last episode that I'll be doing with Cloud 10 and iHeartRadio. We're going back old school. Real Life Real Crime is going to be in charge of Real Life Real Crime and I will certainly still have national commercials through uh, another way and, and without anybody saying, oh, you can have this commercial on this date or whatever. We, I will be back in control 
of when I'm dropping episodes. And I guarantee you this, what, what I have in the works, and I'll, I'll tell you all about it on November 1, you're going to get at least 40 real life, real crime episodes a year. Okay. Probably more patron members and convicts. You're going to, you're going to get more bonus locked up episodes, including one that you're going to get this week of the trial. Um, if you can't be a patron or, or convict, I get it. The, I love all of you. And let's just like, all, you know, I'm certainly everybody that voted for me for the people's choice podcast, the year awards is not a patron or convict. And, and y'all are the best fans in the world. And I love you. I hate that we've gone weeks without episodes and I hate that you're waiting on episodes. I'd never had that problem before. I'm not going to have the problem again. We have fixed the situation starting November one. You're going to see what's happening. Okay. And so I just want to tell you all that the change is going back to doing things the way we used to do them. And look, it's nobody's fault. You know, our heart radio and their commercials and cloud 10 cloud 10 is the best people in the world. I'll always consider them family, but business is business. If it's not there and, and, we can't eat per se. And by that, I mean, I can't produce my weekly episodes because the money's not there from the commercial standpoint, then I had to make the change. So, and that change has been made and it's coming and there's even more coming. Uh, if you like real life, real crime, you're going to get so much of it. I think you'll get sick of it. The We're in discussions with doing a uh, television show, Nothing's been finalized yet, but that's coming, which is going to be pure love. It's it's uh, about a show about me using the fans, y'all, crowdsourcing to solve cases. And that's a very real deal. So that's happening. Uh, it also talks about a potential three-day-a-week real-life, real-crime show where I cover. I just come in three days a week and have the top news headlines from around the world where – where I discuss these cases from my professional standpoint. And if I have a co-host that, that still remains to be seen, but that'll be fire. Right. But that's separate from real life, real crime that you've been getting for the past four years. So you'll have a regular real life, real crime, probable three day a week show and probable television show. So the worth is going to be the weight is going to have been worth it. And I just can't give you all the details yet, but you will get them November 1. But I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I can't thank you enough for blessing me beyond recognition. And I just absolutely adore y'all. Stay tuned because everything you love about real life, real crime on steroids is coming back starting November 1. Lopa, Louisiana Oregon Procurement Agency. And I'm not going to say names, but I got a text two days ago from my OG lifer that I worked with, a dream team moderator. This lady is absolutely best in the world. And she had a, a loved one. I'm not going to go into details because I think it's private. But she had a very significant loved one pass away. But Lopa was able to get involved in their situation. And she reached out to me and she said, I want to thank you for introducing me to Lopa, the Louisiana Oregon Procurement Agency. I wouldn't have known who they were if you hadn't talked about them on every show. She said they are the best people in the world. They were working with us. And I'm going to leave it at that. If you're a lifer from Switzerland and you want to become an organ donor, go to lopa.org fill out the, the two minute thing and give the gift of life and sight and all the other great things they do. Uh, be a hero, save lives, sign up to be an organ donor. And with that, I'm Woody Overton, your host of real life, real crime, the podcast. And until next time or ever, don't let me catch you down on murder by you. Peace. The other rights remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney, 
prior to it during any question. If you can't afford one, the court will point one for you. Do you understand your rights? And the wolf is at your door. 